Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. One of the newer features available in PowerPoint is the ability to record and narrate your presentations. So this is particularly useful if you're going to email your presentation to somebody else because it allows them to get a sense of the speaker actually being there as opposed to sitting in a room and viewing the presentation and your speech. This is also a really good option to use for things like what I'm doing now, so training recordings. If you want to show somebody how to do something in PowerPoint, you could very easily record and narrate a short training tutorial, kind of like what I'm doing here. And all of this functionality is available without having to use any external systems. You can do it all in PowerPoint. You can even choose to show yourself in the recording if you want to. And of course, that relies on you having a webcam installed on your PC. So let's take a look at how this works. Now you'll find this option up on the slideshow ribbon. In the setup group, we have a record dropdown and you can choose where you want to start recording from. So do you want to start recording from the current slide or from the beginning? Now, I don't want to start from the beginning because I have my custom intro in there. So I want to start recording and narrating from the title slide. So I need to make sure I'm clicked here first of all, and then I can choose from current slide. Now notice as soon as I do that, it jumps me into my presentation. And also notice you can see down in the corner that I've got my webcam turned on so you can get a webcam view of what I'm doing. So currently you're getting to experience my working from home look. And let's face it, that's not particularly pretty. So let's turn off the camera. Notice underneath we can turn off the camera preview and that is much better. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to have your camera on or off. And we can also turn our microphone on and off from here as well. But I'm going to assume that if you want to narrate this PowerPoint presentation, you're going to want to make sure that you have your microphone turned on. Now to check your settings for your microphone and your webcam, we have a settings drop down at the top here and you'll be able to see here if you have an external microphone plugged in, you'll be able to see that. And also you can choose your webcam from the list as well. So make sure you have those set up correctly. Now it's worth noting that we're not actually recording at the moment. If you cast your eyes over to the left hand side of the screen, we have our recorder buttons, record, stop and replay. So nothing's recording at the moment until I click the record button. Now, another thing that's really useful, particularly when you're narrating slides is at the top here, we have access to any notes that we have in our slide. And you can see that I do have some notes for this slide and I can scroll through those notes, which makes it a lot easier for me to narrate. You can also use your arrow keys if you prefer to move down in that way. Sometimes you feel like you have a little bit more control using your keyboard. And then running across the bottom, we just have our annotation tool. So if we want to highlight something with a laser pointer, we have that. We have an eraser tool to get rid of any annotations. We have our pen tool so we can make annotations. We have our highlighter tool. Everything that we basically had in presenter view, we also have in here. Now I'm going to erase all of the annotations that I've made. So we're starting with a clean presentation. Another thing to note at the top here is that we can make the text larger of our notes. So you can see if I click, I can make that a bit larger or I can make it even smaller. And I can use the arrows to navigate through my slide deck or of course I can just use my arrow keys as well. So when we're ready to start recording and narrating, and I'm just going to narrate this first slide because it's the only one that I have any notes for, we can simply click the big old record button in the top left hand corner. Notice the keyboard shortcut there to start the recording is simply R. So I'm going to start recording and I'm going to read through my notes. Hello everyone and welcome to Secret Adventures. My name is Deb Ashby and I'm the marketing manager for Secret Adventures and I am thrilled to showcase a selection of brand new trips for you today. You'll find a brochure on your chair, so please feel free to take this away with you. Once you've finished your narration, you can simply click on the stop button in the top corner. And then when you close down this view, 
Notice that on this first slide in the bottom corner, we have this audio icon which will play the narration for our slides. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.